Hi Leo, getting ready to do your reading. This is for the end of August. These are love readings. I'm focusing on love. I'm asking for messages for love. So what does Leo need to know for the end of the month? Okay, Ten of Coin in Reverse, Eight of Coin, all right, Page of Coin. Okay, so some of you may have some upsets in the family, could it even be money? You feel like, I feel like you feel a little hopeless about a situation with family. You're working on it too, you could be working on it, but maybe someone is not accepting what you're doing or they're not um, appreciating what you're doing at the Page of Coin. King of Cups could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. King of Wands, the Fool, the Chariot, Knight of Cups, season reverse, the Hangman, the Knight of Swords. So this could, <laughs> the feeling right off the bat, someone in your life could be hanging around. They're not taking action. They're not reciprocating your gestures. I feel like you're being very loving. And I feel like this is your energy finally at the end of the reading just like yeah it's creating chaos <laughs> five of wands so I'm gonna summarize what I'm seeing here as I pull the cards and feeling um, now this could go either way but I feel like there's some type of upset in a relationship and you're willing to work on it you're willing to fix it no matter if it's just love or money issues or whatever it is but I feel like page of coin in reverse is either it's not working out the way you planned so you're losing faith with the star in reverse or this other person is not accepting you know your offer or appreciating what you do with the king of cups it, I feel like it's, it could be you feeling emotional or you being loving or the other person I feel like they're just sitting there Definitely it could be a water sign, but they're just sitting there. I feel like they're not doing anything. Where Look at you. There you are. I was coming up as the king, so you could be a queen, obviously. And you're in reverse. I'm going to read it this way, and then I'm going to switch it. Because I feel like you're head over heels, like working. Like you're so busy, you're out of control. You're upside down. You're trying things. You're working. You're fixing it. Um, and I feel like it's making you out of balance make you feel out of balance you are out of balance and I feel like the energy of this reading is saying something about the fool starting something new in the chariot to move on but it's in reverse so you're not it's like a situation you should have you should maybe come end or give up on because with the knight of cups in reverse again I feel like it's this person here they're not they're not giving anything back to you they're not um, giving you know offering anything they're not showing appreciation they're not showing any type of love they could be just hanging around and I think this causes a lot of conflict or it does and then finally you you, you lose it and not a sword you just go after them they could come after you because the Knight of Cups is in reverse, the Knight of Swords is here. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's really lazy, to be honest. Lazy in love, lazy in life, lazy. Something, something like you're putting all the effort and time into this, and they're not. And in the end, it just creates chaos, Five of Wands. Now, it could also be that you guys have totally different views about this situation with Five of Wands. You guys disagree. They don't see what you're seeing, because with the Hangman seeing it from upside down, and then now every five of wands means that too people don't have the same values or ideas and in the end you're just ending up fighting so when I clarify these it's gonna be interesting to see what they what they feel you should do because with the fool some of you you know you should start something else you should move on you just you don't you're not you don't want to give up easily though you want to like work to fix it but I feel like you have not only every right to leave, because this is an old relationship or stagnant, something that's just you put a lot of time and effort into it and they don't appreciate it, but 
feel like you have opportunities around you waiting for you. Okay, so Ten of Coin, what is about the situation? Chariot, they're saying right away, move on. And again, for some of you, this can be work, definitely. Family type of relationships where you, they just don't appreciate you. And of course, a friendship for some. You guys are coming up with both as kings. And then you, you kind of like go down to into knights, which is kind of dropping down into a lower, like, like you kind of both become... And you come up very strong. You're both in your power, king or queen, fighting for what you want. You believe what you want. And then when nothing happens, you both kind of, I don't want to say get immature, but you get like where you just kind of lose it. You just kind of finally just go into that state of just wanting to argue because no one's listening, no one's talking, no one's doing anything. So eight of coin. Move away. They're saying move away. Again, six of swords, move away. See, this is making you feel, feel frazzled. It's making you feel like instead of dealing with this type of energy, they're saying to move on. Page of coin, six of cups. You're giving a, giving a lot because page of cups is my acts of kindness card. Being nice to someone. He's giving her flowers. And it's not being appreciated. Someone's not appreciating what, you, what you're what you giving them. Maybe you're putting in a lot of effort too. And they're looking at it like a page of coin. Like, oh, it's just, it's not good enough. It's so small. Now, page of, a six of cups obviously can mean someone to, from the past. So moving on to someone. But I don't necessarily, I'm going to read it that way. But I do see that. It could be that in the cards. Some of you might think that. So we'll leave that open in case that does come up. Okay, what is the star? Use your intuition. See, you're thinking that there's hope. You're like, oh, I'm going to fix this. It's not worked out before, but I'm going to fix this. I'm going to keep going. They're saying, no, listen to your intuition. You know this person is not going to change. You know this person is not going to appreciate you. You're just being a little bit stubborn. King of Cups, Queen of Wands. Now, that's your energy there as a queen now. So this person could be caught up in their emotions with the cups card. They could be obviously another fire sign. This could be you feeling, you know, stuck in your emotions. Let's keep going. King of Wands in reverse. Looking out to the future. So again, I feel like instead of fixing this, turn your back to it and look out to other opportunities that are available. For some reason, I'm kind of feeling also some of you want to fix this relationship just so you can fix it. I feel like you know it's not workable. I know, I feel like you know you have other opportunities. You just want to be right is kind of what I'm feeling. You want this person, oh, you want this person to finally acknowledge you, to say thank you or to say sorry or to say you did a great job. And they don't. Like they never will. They won't. And this is how you end up feeling in the end. You lose your cool. Okay, so the fool. Two of coin. You know you have other opportunities. You know maybe you should leave. You should go. But you're just not ready to. You're still weighing it up. You're still looking at things. The chariot. Ten of cups. See, if you leave, I think you'd be very, very happy with the ten of cups. Okay, Knight of Cups in reverse. Again, I feel like this is the other person, Tower. Yeah, they're not going to give you what you want. In fact, they may give you the opposite. And this is obviously why you're feeling this way. Because like I said, I feel like this is them. Not giving any sort of recognition, any sort of love. In fact, the Tower comes in instead. And this could be what you're hoping for. Maybe you're hoping for the Ten of Cups. And they give you the Tower. Or you could be giving them the Tower then. You want Ten of Cups, so then you say, okay, I'm done. You can obviously go either way, whoever decides first. Page of Swords, right. That's that, that message. Either you're delivering it to them or they're delivering it to you. Page of Swords is a sharp message, something that could be said very, you know, in a very mean way. Could be something you don't want to hear. Could be you delivering the message. And he is looking over at the tower, so this definitely could be you doing this in the end. Knight of Swords. Five of Swords. Yes, yeah, someone is just as thinking of themselves only. 
okay? They have to be right. They have to win. I'm getting an energy also like of a, a parent. Um, it, you know, how you want, you want them to acknowledge you, appreciate you, and they just never do or they won't for whatever reason. I mean, obviously this can happen in love also. And I don't know why someone would act this way. I mean, it's pretty harsh energy, but it's telling me in this reading, this person's not going to give you the recognition, love, or acknowledgement that you want, and that you deserve, too. Five of Wands, because then in the end, Ten of Wands, you're just bickering, bickering. You said the Five of Wands or the Ten of Wands. So this tower could just be an explosive argument with a lot of hurtful things said with the Page of Swords. Again, like I said, it could be the other person hanging around not doing anything, and so you explode, and they could be feeling very selfish, or you could be saying very harsh, mean things also. In the end, it's just it's causing another argument that just causes more burdens for you. So it looks, you know, obviously I see here that you may want to ten of cups with this person, that it's not going to happen. Maybe it, ha maybe it, it for a short time, but again, the ten of cups is on the chariot, and the chariot is here also, and the chariot is about moving, moving away. And your energy is here now, looking out to the future. What, what, what's new? What should you do? Where should you go? But instead, I feel, like, I feel like you're getting caught up in your emotions also, which you don't normally do. But for some reason, this situation, I feel, is caught, caught, catching you off guard. So it's just going to end in bickering and fighting. And the person, I feel, is not going to change. And then you're putting too much stress on yourself, the Ten of Wands. You're putting too much work on yourself. It's like all the work is on your side. You have to do all the work. And they don't appreciate it. And I, they never will. Which is really sad. You know. Because I can see here the Six of Cups and the Eight of Coin. You are uh, putting an effort. So the universe, my cards, however you want to explain what this energy is. Who's showing this. Who this is for. They're saying to go. To move on. I feel like they're saying if you do, you know, you leave, you will get your Ten of Cups. If you stay, you're going to end up in this bottom row of more drama, more fighting. And you don't, you don't want that. All right. So I feel like for Leo, this is pretty straightforward. So I don't feel like there's really anything else to clarify here. No one needs drama. And it just puts more stress on you. You don't need that. I feel like you've done all you can. So know that you put in all the effort you ever could, more than expected of you, and it's time now to just do what's best for you, look to the future, find someone else that would, find someone who would appreciate you, especially if this is a job also. I mean, this is just too much stress. So, all right, have a great week, you guys, and take care.